Hello, my name is Eduard Metzger and I welcome you to this presentation of the AutoZar KM module for certificate handling. So let's have first a look what actually are certificates. So a digital certificate is actually similar to an identification card or a passport that is used by individuals. So it's some kind of electronic document which is typically used to assert the identity of individuals, computers, vehicles, or even devices and ECUs. It has a defined structure that typically contains the identity of the owner, also called the subject, the identity of the issuer, and the public key of the owner. And it's signed by a so-called certificate authority. So the AutoSAR KM module was introduced with AutoSAR 4.4 and it provides an API for parsing and verifying certificates. So it supports certificate signing requests and certificate revocation lists. The actual certificates can be stored either on the host site in the NVM or inside an HSM. There are a number of supported operations which you can execute with KM. So besides the basics of setting and getting certificates via the service certificate interface, you can also implement the first storage and the update of certificates. Furthermore, you can verify a pair of certificates or complete certificate chain. And you can get every single element of a certificate via the get, get first, and get next API. With regards to relations to other AutoSAR BSW modules, the KM certificate handling capabilities are used by the Diagnostic Communication Manager, which uses it for the parsing and verification of during diagnostic authentication when the service 29 is used. The TLS module, as part of the TCP IP uses the KM module for the verification of certificates during the TLS handshake. And the IPsec uses the KM certificates for the authentication of IPsec peers. Regarding the modeling of certificates in KM, there are some important aspects that you can configure. So for example, the type of certificate such as X509 or ZVZ. You can model the certificate elements in which you are interested. So every certificate element actually consists of a set of, or the certificate elements make up the certificate. And besides that, you can model the relations between certificates so that you are later on able to verify a complete certificate chain. Furthermore, you can decide where the certificate shall be stored, for example, in an HSM or in the NVM. And you can also define a certificate or which crypto job shall be used for certificate verification and also which key. And you can give a synchronized time base for verifying the certificate validity time. As always, also, the KM module is configurable via DaVinci Configurator. So you see here that you can actually configure the properties of each certificate and then also configure the properties of the individual certificate elements of each certificate. If you have further questions regarding the capabilities of KM, or questions about the other AutoSAR related security modules, feel free to contact us. Thank you very much.